This is module 6, radical expression. So, let's proceed to the next page. Complete answer for module 6. Okay. So, let's proceed to this question. So, which of the following is an expanded form of 3 squared? So, when we say expanded form is 3 squared, this 3 squared is actually equal to 3 times 3. So, and this letter is letter A. Next, number 4. How do you classify the principal root of 3600? So, when we say 3600, the answer is 6 tenths. So, this is rational. Number 5, which of the following rational numbers is the square root of 49? Square root of 49 is positive negative 7. The answer is 7. Okay. Now, next, number 6, which of the following number is a perfect square? Perfect square, again, it is a number obtained by multiplying a number by itself. The answer is 21 because this is a perfect square number. This is 11 times 11 equals 121. Okay, number 7. If the square root of eight, uh, 64 equals 8, is irrational. Which of the following expression is true? So, this is... Okay, this is rational. False. Uh, false. Okay, this is irrational and letter C is true because this is rational. Number eight, which of the following expression is irrational? For the answer is letter D. This is irrational because square root of three is irrational. Square root of a uh, cube root of nine is irrational. So therefore, this whole thing is irrational. Okay, number nine. How do you classify how do you classify the square root of one plus square root of nine? This is rational. Because square root of 1 is 1, square root of 9 is 3, so 1 plus 3 is 4. So this is rational. Okay, number 10. Which of the following expression is a rational number? Okay, the answer is square root of 49. This is rational because the answer for this is 7. And this is irrational. There's no exact answer for letter A to C. Okay, number 11. How do you classify the square root of 1 over 9. So this is, when we say square root of 1 over 9, this is actually equal to square root of 1 over square root of 9. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 9 is 3. So therefore, one third. So this is rational. Okay, next page. Okay, here. If the square root of 16 plus 25 equals 1 9, which of the following is the square root of 26 plus square root of 23. So square root of 26 plus as uh, 26 plus 23 is 49. So square root of 49, the answer is positive negative 7. So the answer is 2. Either positive 7 or negative 7. Okay, number 13. Between what two consecutive integers the square root of 75 lies? So, consecutive integers, the square root of 75 lies. So actually, 75, the number 75 lies, the two perfect square number, which is 64 and 81. And the square root of 64 is 8, and the square root of 81 is 9. So, therefore, that is 8 and 9. Okay. Now, next. Which of the following radical number is greater than square root of 129? Okay. Which of the following radical number is greater than square root of 129? Of course, the square root of 144. Because this is 129. The only number greater than 129 is 144. Okay, number 15. If the square root of 129 is greater than square root of 121, then square root of 129 is less than which of the following radicals? Square root of 50. So all of these are the answers. Square root of 129 is lesser than all of these A, B, C, and D. Okay, here is... What's in? Okay, what's in? Now, this is a table. You are to fill in the table. Okay. So, complete the table below. Indicate the product by decoding the letters. Okay. Equal factors. That's 1 times 1. That's 1 squared. And if you will, that's 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared, 9. 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25, 6 squared, 36, 7 squared, 49, 8 squared, 64, 9 squared, 81, 10 squared, 100. So when you see 1 squared, it's actually 1 times 1. 2 squared, 2 times 2. This is expanded form of 1 squared. And 
1 is the answer is D, letter D, which is 1 here. So 1. Uh, 4 is O here. Uh, 9 is Y. 16 is O. 16 O. 25 is U. 36 is R. R36. B is uh, 49 is letter B. Uh, 64 is letter E. 81 is letter S. 100 is letter T. So do your best. Okay, independent activity 1. So number this is the square root of 81. Its principal root is 9 and this is rational. Square root of 36 is 6 and this is rational still. Square root of 12, this is irrational. And the answer is 12 is between the two perfect square number, which is 9 and 16. And nine is, square root of 9 is 3. And square root of 16 is 4. Now, and square root of 0 0.09, this is rational. So, the answer is 0.3 or 3 tenths. Square root of 45, this is irrational. And it's, and 45 is between at the perfect square number, which is 36 and 49. And square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 49 is 7. Okay, here, independent activity 1. Okay, square root of 7 plus square root of 12 minus square root of 8. So, when we use in the calculator, this is square root of 7 is 2.65 plus 3.46 plus 2.83. That is 8.94. This is irrational. Okay, square root of 100 minus square root of 25. This is all rational. That's 10 minus 5. Square root of 100 is 10. Square root of 25 is 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. This is rational. Now, one square root of 1 fourth plus square root of 1 eighth. So when we say square root of 1 fourth, that's square root of 1 over square root of 4 plus square root of 1 over square root of 8. It's equal to 1. Square root of 1, that's 1. Square root of 4, that's 2. It's 1 half. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 8 is 2.83. So when you are to... Add up these two, one half is 0 0.5 and 1 over 2.83, this is 0 0.35. For all in all, this is 0 0.85. Okay, now this is irrational. Okay, next, square root of 8 plus 16 plus square root of 4 plus 5, this is actually square root of 24 plus 9 plus square root of 9, this is 4.9 plus 3, this is 7.9. This is irrational still. Okay, square root of 1 fourth plus square root of 4 over 9 plus square root of 4 over 16. Square root of 1 fourth is square root of 1 over square root of 4 plus square root of 4 over 9 that's square root of 4 over square root of 9 plus square root of 4 over 16 that's square root of 4 plus square root of 16. So this is actually square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, then square root of 9 is 3, square root of 4 is 2, then square root of 16 is 4. So 1 fourth plus 2 third plus 2 fourth. The least common denominator of this is 12. So 12 divided by 4, that's 3 times 1, that's 3. 12 divided by 3, that's 4 times 2 is 8. 12 divided by 4, that's 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 plus 8 plus 6 is 17 over 12. You can change this one also into this to, uh, in, uh, mixed number. Okay. Now next, independent activity 2. So describe the principal root of the given expression. We tell whether it's rational or irrational. Show, show your solution. Okay. So number one, the square root of 25 plus square root of 81, that's square root of 25, that's 5, square root of 81, that's 9. So 5 plus 9 is 14, this is rational. Square root of 4 plus square root of 36 minus square root of 9 is equal to 2. Square root of 4 is 2, square root of 36 is 6, square root of 9 is 3. So 2 plus 6 minus 3, the answer is 5, so rational. So evaluate 8 times square root of AB plus 4. A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 16. All you have to do is to replace A by 4, replace B by 16. So this is called a substitution. So this is 8 times square root of 4 plus 16 is equal to, this is 8 copy, 8 times square root of 4 times 16, that's 64. So 8 times square root of 64, that's 8. So 8 times 8 is 64. So the answer is 64. Now, the height of Karin is one half of the square root of 9 meters. What is the height of Karin in centimeters? Okay, so Karin is one half of square root of 9 which matters now square root of 1 times square root of 9 on square root of 9 is 3 so 1 times 3 equal to, equals to 3 then bring down 2 that's 3 over 2 or 1.5 meters so 1.5 meters 
convert it to centimeter. We have 1 meter equals 100 centimeter. All you have to do is, is to multiply 1.5 meters by 100. This is 150 centimeters. Okay, next. Okay. Now describe, as is meant to describe a pair of perfect squares within which the following spirit lies. Perfect square. So, spirit of 134, what is the perfect square number which is less than 100, nearer, nearer to 134 and it is less than and greater than. It's 121 and 144. Square root of 54, what should be the perfect square number nearer to square root of 54? So the answer is 49 and 64. Uh, this, the perfect square number which is uh, nearer to two, square root of 214 is 196 and 225. Okay, 0. 0.76 is 0. 0.64 and 0. 0.81. 5.59, the, the perfect square number near it to it is 4 and 9. Okay. Multiple choice. So we have here independent assessment 3. How do you classify the square, the principal root of uh, 3600? So, or square root of 0.36, the answer is 0.6. Then, therefore, this is rational. If the cube root of 64 equals 4 is rational, which of the following expression is true? The answer is A, 4. Square root of 4 is rational because the answer of this is 2. Now, number 3, which of the following is a perfect square? Perfect square is obtained by multiplying the number and itself. The answer is 49. Which of the following radical number is rational? So the answer is letter B. This is rational because the answer of this is 3. How do you classify the square root of 75? So this is irrational. Okay, next. So multiple choice assessment three. Which of the following pair of integers with which the square root of eighteen lies between? So square root of eighteen, the two perfect square numbers near to it, less than and greater than is sixteen and twenty-five. So therefore, square root of sixteen is four. Square root of twenty-five is five. So the answer is letter D. The radicand twenty lies between what two perfect square squares? So twenty, the perfect square numbers in which found. On its left and right is 16 and 25. It is letter D. Okay. If the square root of 65 lies between 8 and 9, where is the square root of 89 lies between? So the answer is? So square root of 89 lies between the perfect number is in which is the boundary on the left and right is 81 and 109. Square root of 81 is 9 and square root of 100 is 10. So the answer is 10 and 9. Or 9 and 10. 9 and 10. The answer is 9 and 10. Okay. So the radicand 85 lies between what two perfect square numbers? So 85. So 85. The two numbers, perfect square numbers on its left and right is 81 and 100. So this is letter D. Which of the following is the approximate value of square root of 116? So square root of 116 is equal to 10.78. So the answer is letter D. Okay. Now, let's have assessment. Assessment. So read the question carefully. We'll write the letter and corresponds to your answer in a separate sheet of paper. The square root of 30 lies between which of the following pair of perfect squares? It's 25 and 36. 30 is between the two perfect squares, 25 and 36. And this is letter B. If the square root of 75 lies between 8 and 9, where is the square root of 85 lies between? So it's square root of 85 lies the two perfect square 89 and 100. So therefore the answer is 9 and 10. 9 and 10. Okay. Now the radicand 85 lies between the two perfect squares. 85. It's 81 and 100. So the answer is 81 and 100. Which of the following expression is true statement? The answer is letter C. True. Because here, look at the... Symbol, this is less than, then greater than, greater and greater than. No, the letter C is the answer. Number five, which of the following pair of integers where the square root of 20 lies between? So square root of 20, the two perfect square number in which 20 is in between is 16 and 25. So this is square root of 16, that's 4. Square root of 25, that's 5. So the answer is letter D. Okay. Number six, which of the following number is a perfect square? Only in letter B. If 
the square root of 245 equals 15.65 is ir irrational, which of the following expression is true? None of this is true. Oh, 20 is, this is false. This is false. This is false. And this is false. So all of these are false. None, no answer. Which of the following expression is rational? Rational is letter B because square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3, so 2 plus 3 is 5. Rational. How do you classify square root of 3 over 9? The answer is irrational because square root of 3 over square root of 9, square root of 3 is irrational. So this is irrational. Number 10, which of the following radical expression is rational? The answer is square root of 64 because this has answer which is 8. How do you classify the nine square root of 9 over 25? So 9 over 25, this is rational. It's because square root of 9 is 3, square root of 25 is 5. If the square root of 36 plus cube root of 27 equals 9, which of the following is the, the square root of 36 plus 28? When you say 36 plus 28, the answer is 64. So square root of 64 is 8. Oh, letter A. Okay, number 13. The square root of 2 over 3 lies between which of the following two rational numbers? So when you say square root of 2 over 3, the answer is 0 0.8164965 and the only near answer is letter A. Okay, letter A. The okay, next number. Okay, number 14. If 3 times 3 equals 9 and square root of 3 equals 3, which of the following is the square root of 25? The answer is positive, negative 5. So square root of a number has to answer. It is fat, positive, or negative 5. So it could be positive 5 or it could be negative 5. Now, which of the following number has a square root? That is between 6 and 7. So the answer is 40. Because 6, uh, the perfect square number, 6 times 6 is 36, and 7 times 7 is 49. So which of these, which is between 60, 36, and 49, then is 40? Letter B. Thank you.